Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. I'm here with an unboxing tonight and a jewelry sale. I will be opening some packages I received from Whatnot. I have not been buying much jewelry on there lately, but I have a few packages that have stacked up that I wanna get opened and offer up for sale before I list the items. So I will be doing that today. I hope everybody's having a great week. I'm recording this on Monday, but I think this video will be airing on Wednesday. And tomorrow I will also be having some more jewelry. I'm planning to do a thread up DIY box. If you are new to my channel, my name's Lindsay. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, The Real Real, and here on YouTube. I do post videos Mondays and Thursdays, but I do throw in bonus content. So make sure that you uh, hit the bell notification when you subscribe so you don't miss any videos. I will be offering the items for sale throughout the video and we will be using the number system again today. So I'll just need you to include the number and a brief description. And if you can throw the price in there um, as well, that's very helpful. You would just send me an email with your request. If you've never bought from me before, I will need your mailing address. I do uh, calculated shipping through Pirate Ship. Shipping starts at $5. I will invoice you upon receipt of your email, um, unless it's coming over in the middle of the night, I'll do it the next morning. Um, but I do invoice right away. Um, so please be on the lookout for my invoice and I do uh, invoice through PayPal. So let's go ahead and get started. I have three boxes here. I'm gonna try to get through all of this today just to get these moving. Um, they are from two different sellers. Um, there are some new on the card pieces and there may be some vintage items as well. And I did mention I'm gonna be doing more jewelry tomorrow. So um, anything that you pay for from this video, I will combine shipping with anything that you're interested in from tomorrow's video. I'll wait until Friday to send it out. I know every seller kind of um, handles their business differently, so I just want to make sure everybody is on the same page and go over that for any new customers. Um, so let's see, we might need to zoom out a little bit. This one is in a larger box. Um, this is Road & Company. So this is Road & Co. Genuine Rose Quartz, it says. Um, now the earrings are clear though. So I'm not 100% sure about that. They're really tiny studs, so they'd be nice for a second hole. They are silver plated and it does come with a necklace. And let's see if we can take a look at that. I don't want to unpackage it. So it looks like it's just a plain chain. There is the Road & Co. hang tag, but I'm not seeing anything, um, you know, that looks like pink rose quartz. It's just clear, um, but it is a nice set. It looks like it's good quality. Um, we'll do $5 on that, and that will be number one. This is stunning, gorgeous mint green and clear rhinestones and there are some opalescent stones there. And it looks like there might be an ink mark on this one, so I'm gonna try to get that off. Okay, and that did come off. So we're in good shape there. Um, this one is just so pretty. And these stones up here are also kind of opalescent. So just gorgeous, all of the stones are present. The um, back of the pendants are in very good condition. And uh, the chain as well is in good shape, just some light wear. There's your J. Crew. Um, so we'll do 20 on this one. And that will be number two. Uh, next is another J. Crew piece. And this one is interesting. It is like a clear acrylic. And then it has um, some beautiful stones on there. Again, like a mint green. This one's like a pale yellow and like a peach color and blue and clear rhinestones. So that is very cool, really unique. 
and in good condition on the back on this one. This one does have wear on the chain. Um, most of it's pretty good, but back here, uh, there is some color loss. So it is more silver tone on the extender and the back that goes around the neck. So on this one, we'll do 15. And this one is going to be number three. Next up, I have a really chunky beaded necklace. This does have weight to it. And these are like a green, but there's a lot of um, detail and flash on these. And then there are these rhinestone little spacer beads, and these are all hand knotted. And I think all of our beads are there. This is really nice. I think these are glass and it does have a silver tone metal with an extender and this is Talbot's. So really nice piece going into fall with this beautiful green. So let's do $10 on this one and that one is going to be number four. Next up I have these uh, Zaxi. Um, I'm not familiar with that brand, but they are new on the card earrings, gold tone with a clear rhinestone and a black bar. And these are fairly lightweight, not super heavy. I don't see any original price on them. We'll do $4 on those and that will be number five. Next up, I have a pair of gold hoops. And these are for sensitive ears. They are new on the card, but there is scratching um, on there. Really chunky hoops. And I don't see a brand on these. Um, we'll just do $2 on those because they do show wear. And the original price was only $8. That will be number six. I have this necklace here, it's silver tone, and then there is a acrylic blue rhinestone there. Really cool design on that one. And a really long chain in excellent condition. And this one is signed. This is by the brand Vantel Pearls. And there is the hang tag. This one is in great condition. Um, we'll do $5 on that one. And this is number seven. Next up, I have another pair of these Zaxi earrings. These ones are a little bit shorter. They're silver tone with an opalescent faceted rhinestone and a gorgeous faceted red stone there. These are stunning. And uh, brand new, that will be number eight, and we'll do $4 on those. I do have another pair of the red, um, same as before. That will be number nine for four. And I do have another pair of the black ones, which were the first by this brand. Um, so we'll do $4 on those, and that will be number 10. Next, I have another sensitive ears, and these are a two-tone hoop. Um, really cute, like twisted design. And um, these ones look like they're in good condition. Um, we'll do three on these. And that will be number 11. Next up, I have these Versona, um, new on the card earrings. They are gold tone with absolutely stunning red rhinestones and they are CZs. Just absolutely gorgeous. Um, they are post back and um, in really good condition, new on the card. We'll do four on those and that is number 12. Next up, I have these gold tone chains. Um, this is Tanya Creations Fashion Jewelry and you get three um, different gold tones for layering. Um, really pretty and no original price on those. Um, we'll do $4 on that and that will be number 13. Next up, I have some more sensitive ears. These are hoops um, with a silver tone and clear rhinestones. 
new on the card and in very good condition. We'll do three on those and that will be number 14. Next, I have these um, gorgeous stud earrings. You get um, a set of three different studs clear um there is like a gold color and a purple absolutely beautiful these are cz's as well these had an original price of 30 let's do six on those and that will be number 15. a lot of great items here for stocking stuffers if you're getting a head start on your shopping. Next up, I have another Purely Sensitive, and these are like a Mystic Topaz colored um, stud with a Rivoli cut. Absolutely beautiful, and those are crystals uh, from Swar Swarovski. And um, new on the card, we'll do three on those, and that is number 16. I have a third pair of these Zaxi um, with the black bar. That will be $4 for number 18. And I have these really nice ones, gold tone, and there's like an amber colored faceted bead and gold. Um, really pretty. Um, this one does look like there is some wear on the bead, there's a little bit of chipping um, on the bottom beads. So on these, we'll just do $2, and that one will be number 19. We have another pair of the twisted hoop earrings, the two-tone um, sensitive ears, and uh, looks like those are in good shape. I think we did three on the other one, so we'll do that here, that's number 20. And our final item from this lot is this gorgeous necklace. It's silver tone and um, clear rhinestone. Really beautiful on a silver tone long chain. And this one, I don't see a hang tag on it. Um, it is from Macy's and it did have an original $49.50. So it could be silver plated, um, really beautiful. Let's do $8 on this one, and that will be number 22. More stuff from the same seller, and then we'll move on to some vintage items. So um, first up we have these, um, Sincerity, Communication, Integrity. Um, they are some Am Amazonite natural stones for energy. And they're also um, where you can put the essential oils on them for the diffuser. And one of the bracelets came off, but it does come with two. Um, really cool to the touch and very pretty. I love the colors of the am ammonizite, um, just so beautiful. Um, we'll do $5 on this and that will be number 23. And I have the same bracelet here in yellow jade and this is for energy stone and diffusion. And this is inspiration, good luck and motivation. Absolutely beautiful. We'll do $5 on that, and that will be number 24. I have another pair of these Zaxi earrings. I don't think we've seen these ones yet. These are the black tube with a faceted purple bead. Really pretty. On those, we'll do $4, and that will be number 25. Next up, I have this um, Manisi necklace and this was originally 17 and it is seed beads and silver tone really long multi-layer a little bit twisted at the bottom from transport but really pretty and um new on the card it does have a um, lobster clasp with an extender so on this one let's do five and that will be number 26 This is another pair of the Zaxi um, faceted purple with like a citrine color. This one did come damaged in transit. I think it just needs a simple reconnect there. So if anybody would like to fix those, I'll just do $2 on that pair. Really pretty. And that will be number 27. Next up, I have these um, Gennaro Classic. 
and these may be stone they're pretty weighty they're a beautiful orange and then there is a faceted brown um, kind of brown gold color rhinestones on silver tone and um, really nice uh, we'll do three dollars on those and that will be number 28 And I have another pair of these. These ones are intact, um, beautiful um, blue and citrine, silver tone. We'll do $4 on those ones. And that is number 29. Next, I have um, another. These are the same brand as the stone ones. Um, they are fish with a blue rhinestone, silver tone. And these are post back really darling and in great condition we'll do three on those and that is number 32. i have another pair of these stone ones um, same as the other ones really pretty and gorgeous for fall we will do three dollars on those and that's number 33. next i have an erica lions necklace new on the card uh, originally 42 dollars and this is gold tone with all of these hanging pendants and it does have a little weight to it looks like it's in very good condition um, we will do six dollars on that and that will be number 30. next i have fashion accents um, this is a faux pearl necklace really pretty new on the card it does have a lobster clasp and that was originally $14.99 we'll do three dollars on that and that is number 31. another pair of these gorgeous zaxi um, these ones seem to be having the same issue as the other pair with some color loss on the bottom beads so on those we'll do two dollars and that will be number 34. Next, I have another new on the card, Erica Lyons. And this is a really weighty memory wire bracelet. And it looks like it's dyed howlite. Really pretty. And there may just be a chip right on the last one there, um, but not a huge deal, but it is weighty. Um, it did have an original price of $32. And um, very adjustable with it being memory wire. Goes well with my turquoise jewelry that I have on today. That's kind of what it looks like on. Um, really nice statement piece. We'll do $6 on that one and that will be number 35. Next up, I have this Express necklace, and it is on this massive card. I don't know exactly why it was put on here, but it is really pretty, alternating silver and gold tone with different shapes, and it is new on the card. And it does have, over here, the lobster clasp. It was originally $28. We'll do $5 on that one, and that will be number 36. And my last item from this seller is this really substantial faux pearl necklace. And they are like a frosted silver tone multi-layer and there are the knots on the side. And it is a lobster clasp with gold tone metal. And this one is marked. I believe that may be Isaac Misrahi, but I could be wrong about that. It doesn't have a name, just the symbol. Um, but it looks like it's in great condition. Um, on that one will be number 37 and we'll do $6 on that. All right, so here's my last lot and everything is packaged really nicely in here and individually baked. So let's go ahead and take a look at these items. First up, I have a brooch and this is adorable. It is a matte gold tone crab with clear rhinestones. And he is showing a little bit of wear, but overall really nice. There's the back, there's no maker's mark on him. It 
And we do have a working pin back. So on that one, let's do five. He is absolutely adorable, but is showing a little bit of wear. And that is number 38. Next up, I have this adorable panda. He is black enamel with gold tone metal and clear rhinestones. And all of our stones are there. This one is not marked, um, but it's in very good condition. Really sweet panda, we'll do six on him, and that is number 39. Next up, I have a gorgeous flower brooch. This is gold tone with orange rhinestones. And the center part are just illusion stones, so everything is present. And it looks like there is a little bit of wear on the back. But overall, still a beautiful brooch. Um, we will do $3 on that one, and that will be number 40. Next, I have a little fox brooch, and he is gold tone with green enamel and green rhinestone eyes and a red tongue. And um, looks like there's a little bit of wear on his nose and just overall wear throughout, but he is so cute. But he is still very cute and he is marked. Um, he is a Jerry's brooch. So on him, let's do three because um, there's some wear. That will be number 41. Next up, I have a turtle brooch, silver tone with um, kind of a rust colored enamel shell with clear rhinestones. That one definitely gives like a Brighton type of look on the front. There are no maker's marks, a little bit of wear on the pin, but it is working. So on him, let's do five, and that is number 42. For 46, I do have a scarf clip here, and this one is marked. It is stamped uh, W Germany for Western Germany. Um, looks like it's in good condition. We'll do $2 on that one, and that is number 43. Next, I have a zebra brooch, and this is silver, gold tone, and like a copper tone. And this can also be worn as a pendant. I don't see any maker's mark on this one. He is large and in pretty good condition. We'll do five on that. And that one will be number 44. Another giraffe, bro or another critter brooch, I should say. This one is a giraffe with mom and baby. And it is silver tone with a gold tone um, back or tail and then some clear rhinestones. And the back of the um, brooch is gold tone. I don't see a maker's mark. You can also wear it as a pendant. And our pin is working. We'll do $6 on that one. And that is number 45. And next I have another scarf clip. This one is also marked Western Germany. It's like a domed silver metal. And in very good condition. We'll do $2 on that one. That will be number 46. I have this gorgeous butterfly brooch, gold tone. And then it kind of has um, black enamel with some inlaid like mother of pearl underneath and clear rhinestones. Absolutely gorgeous. I think everything is present on that one. Very unique piece. There's the back, no signature. And our pin is working. Really beautiful brooch. Let's do $8 on that one, and that will be number 47. This enamel clown brooch, really cute with the umbrella. And he does show a little bit of wear, but overall in really good condition. That one is super fun. And I don't see a maker's mark on that one. but the pin is working. Um, really fun piece, let's do five on that one and that will be number 48. 
of this beautiful cat brooch with AB rhinestones and they're all different shapes. Stunning green eyes with the black ears and tail and feet. Um, it is showing a little bit of wear on the metal, um, but overall it is still in good vintage condition. And I don't see a maker's mark on that one. Absolutely gorgeous, but does show wear. Um, we'll do four on that one, and that will be number 49. Next up, I have a bracelet here, and this is gorgeous. It is a rose gold color, and it has a beautiful red center with clear rhinestones. The center is a Rivoli. And um, I don't know if that comes off. If it's one of those interchangeable ones, yeah, it is. So um, I don't believe this came with any other ones, but if you have other snaps that could go on it, it is absolutely beautiful and it is marked M. So I'm not sure the maker on that one. I'm gonna try to look that up. Um, it is a toggle clasp with adjustment. The total length, not including the toggle, is about eight and a half inches. Absolutely stunning. I'm gonna see if I can find out what brand that is. I'll put some info on the screen if I can find out what brand this is, um, but we'll just do $6 on it. It's in great condition and absolutely stunning. And that will be number 50. And I have another bracelet here. This is silver tone with some purple cabochons and um, little rhinestones around it. And it looks like this could use a cleaning. And is this another? Oh no, this one's a watch. I vaguely remember this one now. So this is really cool. It's a watch fold over clasp. So I will have to see if I can get that working. Um, and I will put some info on the screen. This one is by, this is by Marcel Drucker Collection. So I don't know anything about that brand. Um, let me get a measurement on this one. Looks like it could be on the smaller side. Um, it looks like it would fit up to a seven. Let me confirm that once I close it up. It is kind of thick. So I would say um, it would be better on a six and a half. So I will put some information on the screen about that beauty and that is number 51. This one is a gorgeous flower brooch and it is gold tone metal with enamel and it's kind of got an AB effect to it with a faux pearl center. And it appears to be in very good condition. It probably needs a cleaning but overall, um, absolutely beautiful. I don't see a maker's mark on that one. So it seems like the pin back is a little bit um, wonky on this one. It is not staying closed, so it is gonna need a repair, um, but it's still gorgeous even for crafting or repurposing. Um, so we'll just do $3 on this one and that will be number 52, but keep in mind it's gonna need um, some repair on the back if you wanna wear it as a brooch. Next up, I have this beautiful green. Um, I believe these are stone or glass. Really pretty necklace. It has a toggle clasp. And I don't see any maker's mark on this one. But it is um, a really beautiful color. And um, looks to be in good shape. Again, probably just needs a little bit of a cleaning. We'll do $5 on that, and that will be number 53. Next up, I believe this is J. Crew, um, and it is. There is your J. Crew hang tag there. Um, beautiful gold tone. This looks like um, it's basically in brand new condition. And then you have all of these beads here um, in blue, and then um, seed bead stations um really pretty we'll do eight dollars on that one and that will be number 54. 
I have another J. Crew piece here, and this is a bracelet. This was the first time I've seen the bracelets that match. I've had this exact necklace a couple times, and even in this color. This is a really pale gray. And there is the back on there. Um, this one is new with the tag. Um, there's no price on it. And I'm going to clasp it here and get a measurement for you. So this one will go down to a seven. So really spectacular statement bracelet. We'll do 15 on that. And this one is number 55. I have this beautiful round brooch. It is silver tone with some pale pink rhinestones. And everything is present, really nice condition. The pin back. The pin back on this one also needs some kind of TLC. It is a little bit stuck in there. Um, but I think that one probably would be an easy fix. Um, so, oh, and we are missing a stone. One just came out. So I'm going to just put this um, in a craft for a dollar if anybody would like to fix the stone in the clasp. And that will be number 56. Next up, I have a gorgeous elephant brooch. This is silver tone and it is covered in clear rhinestones. And it looks like everything is present, really nice condition. Silver tone on the back, no maker's mark. That one does have a good pin. Um, we'll do five on that and that will be number 58. And my last item for tonight is another brooch and this is a gold tone with the little porcelain flowers. I was thinking this one is 1928, but it is actually marked and it's signed MFA, which would be Museum of Fine Art. It is in very good condition. Um, I couldn't really find this exact one, but some of the MFA brooches go really high. Um, let's just do 15 on this one and that will be number 59. Okay, I do just have a few more things here. I have uh, some fashion rings. There are a couple of these that are marked 925, but they are all just silver tone and gold tone. They're not precious metal. So I will size each of those for you. Um, this one is really pretty, um, clear rhinestones, um, nice cocktail ring. And I believe all of these are in new condition. That is a sizable one, looks really nice on the finger. And this is coming in at a six and a half. So on that one, we will do $5 and that will be number 60. So $5, number 60 on that beauty. And the lighting is not the best this morning. Um, the sun is really shining in, so hopefully it's not too bad, but I just have a few of these to go through that I wanted to insert in the video for tonight. Um, next up is this one. It is silver tone with a emerald colored rhinestone on there and clear rhinestones on the side. This one is adjustable. Um, so it does have some adjustment to it. It is a little bit stiff, so I will measure it where it's at right now. This one is coming in at eight and a half where it's sitting, but it could go up or down uh, slightly on that one. So we'll do $3 on that, and that will be number 61. 61 for the Emerald Beauty. Next up is this um, gold tone and clear rhinestone. It kind of has like a leaf pattern on the center and then clear rhinestones on the other sides. And this one is brand new. Um, it says a size 18. I don't know what that is, um, but very pretty ring. So let's get her on the mandrel and see. Um, that one is coming in about seven and a quarter. 
So we will do $5 on that one. And that is number 62 on the gold tone. And this one is stunning. Um, multi layers of the clear rhinestones with a center rhinestone. Kind of looks like a wedding band style. Very pretty. And again, um, in new condition. And this one is coming in at a size six and a quarter. So we'll do $5 on that one as well. And that is number 63. And this one was marked 925, but just silver tone. It is a crown with rhinestones. Very beautiful and new condition. And this one is definitely on the smaller side. Let me get a measurement on that. That one is a size five. So we'll do $5 on the crown and that is number 64. And our final item is this one and this is stunning. Um, it has uh, some green stones Looks like kind of a black enamel and clear rhinestones. Um, really beautiful. This one is also on the smaller side. It is coming in at a, um, probably about a five and a quarter. Could go down to a five and a half. Beautiful ring. We'll do $5 on that one as well. And that is number 65. And that for real is my final item of the evening. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to email me if there's anything that you're interested in purchasing. And um, give me a thumbs up on your way out. I really appreciate it. And I'll be back tomorrow with some more jewelry. So I will see you then. Have a great day.